Hi everybody, today we are reacting to the Star Wars Outlaws official gameplay showcase from Ubisoft Forward, so we're going to react to it. I think we're going to be seeing some gameplay, some cinematics, and hopefully some combat. So, hope you guys like this video. Let's do this thing. Okay, fine, fine, pay. Okay. At the top, where it should be. Let's go next. Oh. Hello, everyone. Damn. I'm Matthias Carlson. Ooh, I like this. Entertainment. Today, we'll show you a different type of adventure. Damn. As we journey across multiple systems, we will come across many opportunities for a scoundrel. In Star Wars Outlaws, okay, the world looks one of your motivations insane. for exploration is to find elusive experts scattered across the galaxy. These experts will help Kay pick up new skills to survive in the underworld. Okay, so you can choose... Here, we're so... looking for a gunslinger who can... Take okay, so you can choose the targets you want to sort of go for. The gunslinger. To the Mos Eisley Cantina on Tatooine. Ah! So let's head back to our ship. Very cool. I like how it's um, it's got the two black bars on We're top and bottom. It adds like more of like a cinematic touch to it, and the world seems very alive. Wars, it used to be a refueling station that now acts as a trade hub for illegal contraband. It's a great place. To this looks back. good. This looks really nice. Merchants are often affiliated with a syndicate and might offer you a special deal if you're in good standing with them. Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? This kind of business attracts all kinds of shipjackers, contract brokers. <gasps> this is so different to like any other Star Wars game we've ever played. I like it. So it seems like you can like talk to like random people. Oh, look at that! Wow. Your ship, the Trailblazer, is a refined EML 850, the last of its kind. On board. You'll find everything you need to finalize your preparation. Excuse me? I've heard a lot of people talking about the... Like, landing on different planets. Look at that! Wowee! Oh my god. This looks incredible. Actually... Each planet has its own system for you to explore and many opportunities to make a few credits, which you can choose to engage with or not. I am under attack. So it's like legit, completely I open world. This is Kay Vess. I'm board the Trailblazer. I'm coming to help. And the, the hood is so minimal, it's kind of like... Kind of like Assassin's Creed Shadows. Loving the music. One down. Turn the volume down a little bit. This is really sick. This is awesome. Ooh. Wow. In space, your actions also have consequences and can impact your reputation with syndicates. This optional dogfight allowed us to improve our reputation with the pikes while making a few credits. And then I guess the credits you can spend on maybe your outfits or upgrading your shape or. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, that's awesome. This is so good. Tatooine. You're off to Tatooine. Okay, a lot of people... A lot of people are talking about how the ship lands on the planet, so I'm intrigued to see how it looks like. Okay, so you can sort of choose where to land. But I think we're going straight in. Okay, this could be...
Welcome to legendary Moss Eisley. The infamous hive of scum and villainy. What? What? We could head straight to our destination. No way that's like that of every planet. Or explore what the city has to offer. Oh, wow. Recreating this iconic city is a dream come true for our team. Allowing us to show parts of Moss Eisley you've never seen before. It's funny actually, because looking at the main character, she looks a little bit pixelated. Like she looks like a ah, ah. There are many opportunities for a scoundrel. Including working your way in with the hot cartel. Most of Tatooine's economy is under their control. Even though the You know what I mean? Like she looks a little bit pixely, but the rest of the world looks really clean and clear. So I don't know if that's expert gunslinger. The best place to start is the canteen. The light in that perfect. Really cool. By asking around, we learn of a pirate who is deadly with the blaster and who used to work for the hot cartel. Our intel leads to one of their storehouses, located in the southern hills. And this is the, I think, the first ever open world Star Wars game, also. So there should be a lot to explore. As you move across scorching dunes and dusty valleys, you'll quickly realize that this lawless desert planet still holds many mysteries. We've reached our destination. We need to locate our storehouse and find our way into this heavily guarded fortress without triggering the alarm. Busy place. Hmm, different ways to approach. And you can see at the bottom of the hood as well, you can use, obviously, your uh, companion. You can access the bike, so... Let's go some quick options. So the stealth, that's good too. That's always an option. I like how you can use Nyx as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you, you gotta use Nyx. It's a great companion. Sheriff. Oh, come on. We've been spotted, but we now know where to find our gunslinger. Let's get out of here quick. Okay, so first proper look into combat. Obviously, there's different gun abilities you can use to take on different whoa enemy types. <laughs> Nix is just chilling. Come on, get out of there. Oh, it's pretty cool. I like the way it like switches between. That's nice. Go, go, go. Pretty sweet, it's pretty sweet gameplay. I like it. You again. If you're still looking for Haas, I haven't seen him. Actually, I'm here for you. I heard you're the best shot on the planet. Oh, and you want to be second best. Now is not a good time. 
The huts are coming and I need to get ready. Get your blaster out. What we have just shown you is the beginning of one of the many adventures you can go on in Star Wars Outlaws. Whether you want to learn new <sighs> skills, upgrade your speeder, or become an unstoppable thief. Finding an expert is always an adventure in a galaxy full of opportunities. Game has some big potential. It's a massive potential. So get three days early access. Okay, so guys, that was Star Wars Outlaws, the official gameplay showcase. So what did you guys think to that? There was a few moments that stuck out to me. We got full 10 minutes there, which is a good look at the place. So, so first of all, the the level design. Oh my god, this is like insanely beautiful. Like I'm loving the cinematic sort of bars they got going on. Um, I'm loving that the, the well feels alive. There's people having fights and drinks. Uh, the visuals are absolutely stunning. The lighting, oh my days, it is a, such a beautiful game. The only thing I've noticed is that the main character is kind of a little bit out of focus. She's a little bit sort of a little bit pixely. Like she just seems like a little bit out of focus and then the rest of the world just seems really clear. I don't know why that is, but a massive issue the one thing that really stuck out to me what everyone was talking about is the actual um, ship flies into the planet i think that's insane obviously we've seen this into a few other games as well but the fact we're just driving straight through the atmosphere and we're there That is awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. Obviously, the fact that we landed straight into Moss Eisley is kind of impressive, but I, I don't know. Like, in my, like I, I really hope that it's not just like, I want to go to Moss Eisley, so then it flies down and uh, I, I kind of hope that you could land anywhere. But obviously, we don't know how open world the planets are. If we can actually explore the whole planet, probably not. And obviously, going back a little bit as well, we did have some space combat. So you're again, not sure if we can travel the entirety of space or if we have these little open world sections in front of the main planet. But obviously there is things to do in space. There's like a little sort of waypoint there we can explore or you can help other people for credits, which is nice. But yeah, I love how compact the world is. I love how everyone's got something going on. The graphics are gorgeous, but in some parts, they also look a little bit unfinished and in the combat as well i'm loving the way that you can switch between sort of different gun types to take out different enemies and uh, there was the droid up here which at first we couldn't take out and then she actually had to switch over to like an emp blaster thing i took out the remaining guards it's cool different might be able to unlock them abilities as we go but i mean this is a side quest and already there was so much with it. So I'm, in, I'm intrigued to see how the main story plays out as well. Obviously you can upgrade your, your vehicle. But I think this is a game that we've always wanted to have. Like we didn't want lightsabers. We wanted to be like a bounty hunter and explore and do these sort of quests. And oh man, looks gorgeous. I think there's a lot of hype with this game. And it comes out August 30th. So we will have to see how it goes. But guys, that was Star Wars outlaws what do you guys think let me know in the comments are you going to be getting this game yourself are you excited about this game or do you think it's just going to be a little bit overhyped um i'm intrigued to play it i think i'm definitely going to be buying it myself so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i will see you in the next one i'm really enjoying uploading more videos on this channel so hopefully you guys are enjoying watching it and i'll see you guys in the next video much love take care and peace